so we've got the Leonelli lanyard switch for the osset. Os uh, Leonelli have produced this especially for the osset. Take it out of its box, make sure you get all the parts first. So we've got one switch, one magnetic lanyard, two JWT quick connects, and the clamp to clamp it to the handlebar. First thing you need to do, the wires. You'll see there's some protruding copper. You need to cut that off. Like that. Then the JWT, you need to feed the wire completely in, as far as it'll go down at that angle. Then start to close this, and you will need a pair of multi grips to close it. It's quite tough. So make sure your wire's in there, put the multi grips on there, and you can hear it click. And that's a positive connection. I'm going to do the black one. So again, feed it down that angle until it stops down inside. Start to push that down, put a bit of pressure on it, and take your multi grips. Close it right up. You can hear it click sometimes. Then we're ready to go to the bolt. Then you move this panel. I've taken the bolt out so it's a bit quicker. Uh, you can remove the bung if you like. This gently comes up. You'll see there's two wires there. We can just carefully hang that over the side. Now we need to take these four screws out and we need to locate the, both the throttle wire and the ignition switch wire. Quickly take these screws out. This will also fit the 2013 model. The difference being the connector for the throttle. The 2014 model has a new waterproof connector, which is very good. So just wiggle that up and move it to the side, and you'll find you've located the throttle wire. This is the throttle wire, and there's a connection here that you want to be a bit careful of. You need to undo it. That's the LEDs up on the throttle that tell you the battery. So just pull that out gently. Now, it's this section that we're going to go into. So we don't want it down there. We want to put the connection up in this area so it's got some room. So what we need to carefully do, don't cut the wires. Get a sharp knife, use it away from the wires, just run it up there. You may be able to cut it and then pull it. So that should be plenty and we can cut it. Cut it, make sure you don't cut the wires again. Okay, you have three wires. A red, which we're not going to use, a blue and a black. So you would have bared it back, if we put the switch, the, that back in place, we bared it back to about here so that we can access this part of the wire. So we'll do that now. Quite simple again. Just put these over. They're going to end up on this side. Lay the wire through it, put it where you want it, just close it and again we'll squash it until it clips like that with the moly grips. Do the same for the black, align it just off to the side a bit, not straight on top of it, like that. Close it down the multi groups. Then we're right. So quickly, most important is to connect 
this little fella down in there. Like that. Put your wires back in. That one as well. Make sure you don't jam any wires. Screw it back in. Now yeah, run the Leonelli wires back out the front and then we'll attach it later. So, so now that we've got the switch installed, plate back on, uh, we can give it a quick test. Turn it on. That works. Disconnected. Nothing. Perfect. So that's all working well. Then we'll mount. So now that we've tested it all, we're going to mount the switch where we want it, left or right. Uh, most people like it on the left, um, so we'll feed it up here. Follow the line of the wires. And we're going to have to test later that it's um, free when you turn the handlebars. So I'll put that around on full lock. I'm going to run on the left, just be inside the brake lever here, like that. If you look at the clamp that comes with it, it's uh, a different shape. Keep this part to the back because that's where you push it on. So you run it on the handlebar there, run the cable around the front. You can move it once you've got it on. So hook that into the back of it like that. Then it's really simple. You just push like that, like that. Look at that. It's beautiful. It gives you the opportunity to slide it around a bit where you want it. You can put it down the handlebar a bit, put it up the handlebar wherever you like. It's a nice strong clip. Good thing about that is if you do bump it, it'll push around the bar and it won't dislodge that. So if you're doing some uh, rough terrain, you won't stop the motor. So it's a great switch and you'll see that pulls off. Perfect. What a beautiful thing. So what's important now is the cabling. So you need to get the distance of the cable. Make sure if you hold it here that it's good that side. It's good here. We'll tie wrap it there in a minute. Like that. Yep, so then we've got a bit of excess. What I'm going to do is put a cable tie just here to tie those ones together. Like that. Makes it nice and neat. Then put another one up here. That's all good. Tidy that up. Okay, then just cut the tire itself. Then always be careful with these connections on here. Like I said before, if you want to take that out of the circuit for competition, it might be uh, a good way to save any problems, but um, do be a bit careful with those. Don't pull on them. Feed them back into there. That cover sits down on there. Don't force it in any way and make sure that the uh, cable's nice and free. Like that. And put the screw back in.
bin makes sure the cables are free. Test runs again. It's not going to wear it, and we'll put one more tire up here. Beautiful, ready to go. Nice clean alley, turn it on. Does it work? Beautiful.